we're going to set up the trigger box for the door so that when the player walks through the door, they'll actually load the next level. So we're going to navigate over to the door. And from here, I'm just going to create another object. We'll just do this uh, right next to the door. Actually, we'll put it up in our gameplay. We'll just say create 3D object, and we're going to do a cube. Now, the cube, let's see, replaced it for us a little bit off in terms of position. So I'm going to go down to my door and copy the transform component. Go up to the cube, paste the transform component. Looks like it's under a different um, hierarchy, so it's not going exactly where it should be going, but that's okay. We'll just move it over here to it. Once you navigate the object over here, we're going to do the object's trigger box is going to be this area of the door. And remember, we don't want it to be in front of the door because then the player could just walk up to the door without actually triggering it. We're going to have it where it's behind the door like this. And then we'll go ahead and place a component rigid body on it. Turn off the use gravity, turn on is kinematic. Layer, we're going to change this one to collider. We're going to make sure the box collider is set to is trigger. We'll turn the mesh renderer off because we don't need to actually see it. We're going to go into our assets and we'll create a new C-sharp script. We'll call this one level load. Once it gets compiled, when it's, it gets done compiling, we want to add that to our cube, which we'll also relabel. There we go. So let's relabel the cube level loader or level load. Add component, level load, double click on that one. This is going to be a on trigger enter. If the other name is equal to Ellen, then we're going to load a level, which means we need to be using the Unity engine scene management. And in the scene management, this allows us to use the scene manager. And we're going to do a load scene. The index we'll just say is going to be uh, 1. Once we have this done, we'll go back into Unity again. We're going to open up on the, once it gets in building, we'll open up the file. And in the build settings, we're going to get rid of the ones that are currently in there. We have our level 1 and our level 2. So we know our level 2, the index is 1, which we wrote in code for it. So now we have the setup complete. That means we should be able to push play. We'll navigate our character over to it. And we're just going to do a shortcut by going here. So we'll go to the door, which opens this up. And then once we get to here, when we go forward, we're now placed into the next scene, which is the default for the level two. So that's going to give us our progression so that we can go from one level to the next level.